everybody <laughs> this is chrysanthia actually i'm a fashion stylist but today i'm gonna cook for you so here i am today in my beautiful veranda with a beautiful scene in the mediterranean sea i'm gonna cook today especially because we are located in the mediterranean sea mediterranean salmon tartare so let's get started first we need salmon a big chunk of salmon as you see fresh must be very fresh so we get the salmon then we need for this recipe we need shallots onions then we need lemons we need some tomatoes um, we need basil leaves we're gonna use some green salad and we're gonna use olive paste and I'm gonna mix them with some olives, like cut olives, like that, like this ones. So, first we're gonna cut the salmons. We're gonna cut the salmon. Make sure you put the salmon 15 minutes in the freezer before you cut it. And, and in order to get some bacterial out, you have to cut a small layer from front and top and from around. So you make sure your salmon is clean. I'm doing this recipe and it's for two people. So we cut the pieces of, of salmon in squares. The smaller the better. I mean if you like it like really chunky you can go for it. But if you like them like um, more like a mince type you still you can go for it. Me I prefer them a bit more chunkier. I like to taste the parts in my mouth. So we've done with the salmon and we you got you're gonna have to have a bowl next to you because it's the easier way to do this plate. You just mix everything it's really easy. So now I got the onion I'm gonna cut it really small pieces again so as you can see i i get the small pieces of onions and i put them in you usually if it's, you're doing it for two persons you have to put three spoons of onions next you get a tomato you cut the tomato preferably you take the seeds out you don't want to have the seeds in there it's not really uh, nice looking you know sometimes it's not just about the taste but it's about how it looks right so we cut the tomato let me put this aside here in really small pieces perfect it's really nice and windy here as I said, I don't know if you can really see, but behind me is the beach. And every day I just wake up and go swim. It's great now that it's summer. So we're done with the tomato, as you see. I have salmon, onions and tomato already. So now we're going to cut the basil. 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 Mmm. Smells really good. You know, it's really important to cook with love. That's what it's about, cooking with love. So we cut the leaves. As you see, I put the basic leaves. And now we need to add olive oil. Yummy, extra virgin olive oil from Cyprus. Actually, it's from my boyfriend's family. So ground, so pepper. And beautiful rock salt from Himalaya. I like everything organic. I see a big value of having organic food. Oh, this smells so good. Lemons, beautiful. Just a bit of lemon. And now I'm going to use white vinegar, like two spoons of white vinegar. And 
now I'm gonna mix it and serve it so you can just serve it like that with some salad but today I'm gonna try to be a bit more professional and do like the chefs do so I'm gonna get a bowl of you need like a bowl that has tall shape so you can make like a tower thing and then you just need this uh, so uh, I need to take a bowl which is a bit tall and then I need to put take this thing inside you will see why you just do it like that okay and then you just get the salmon tartar and you put it in here <laughs> it's so nice the colors are amazing oh my god i can't wait to eat it i really made it chunky today but i like it like that and then I have a secret. I don't know if many chefs do that, but I will get some pate, olive pate, because I love olives, you know. And I told you, since we are in Mediterranean Sea, I want to put some extra touch. So I'm getting the olive pate and I put beet in my bowl, plus some olives, cut olives. All right, I mix them. You can mix them like that. Great, it looks great. And I put these on top of my salmon to create another layer. It looks amazing. Actually, this is the second time I'm doing this recipe. It's been a long time I didn't do that. So this is all because of Vipin. Hi Vipin! So you see, this is the second layer. And now we just get a big, nice plate. And we just do this. All right. And you pull. Great. Oh my God, look at it. It's amazing. So let me fix it a bit. It comes out like that. You can make it taller. Um, it looks very nice. And now you can put aside some rocket. Mm -hmm. Some crackers. Some more salad. I'm trying to stylize right now and some tomatoes some olive oil okay let me take this away just a pinch of olive oil mm -hmm. a bit more salt and pepper Always cut some lemon and put like here just to have some more color. This is my recipe for today. I want to thank and drink to my friend Vipin Round Towns for taking me out of my comfort zone. I want to thank from my bottom of my heart Marina and I that gives me inspiration just by getting to know her. Uh, Daniel Serpico, I will always remember you, Pat Duckworth, Sarah Lister, and Pavlina Babaglaga. I love you guys, I love you so much, enjoy, bye bye, love you!